Hello and welcome back to VB A to Z. I'm Long Pamai and in this video I'll show you how to create a custom context menus in Excel. In upcoming videos I'll also cover in detail how to work with Riven X and create your own Riven customization and here I'm not referring to um, reorganizing Excel Riven but creating a new custom Riven for your application. This customization can be incorporated into your app and plugins and um, you can publish it for your users and client, okay? And uh, Riven customization primarily uses XML, XML, but I'll you know like uh, simplify it so that you don't have to learn the language. Um, but you know like just learn where to incorporate the changes to be able to reflect them in your Riven. As always, project files and source codes are free for download and use. The only request from you is to support my channel so I can keep sharing all these useful videos. So before we begin, please do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for upcoming videos. Uh, before we dive into today's uh, episode, I'll quickly give you a flavor of some of the things that we'll be learning in coming upcoming videos. So first off, we are going to learn how to add a right click, you know, like a sub menus like this, like a context menu. And then uh, we'll also look at, for example, here use the plugins from Adobe, you know, like this Acrobat, Smart View, and then here IXL, X, uh, SBase Plus, and all this, right? So here you will learn how to create similar, you know, like icons and drop downs like this. And here you have Smart View, um, which is totally customized by them. And here you see the the panel as well, which you can, by the way, drag and drop it here anywhere within the Excel. So we'll learn all this as well. And here these are Excel utilities that was built for your users. Okay, so we'll you know like go through similar thing as well. And here you see like the checkbox, the buttons, uh, the menu, and then, you know, like all this customization will learn, we'll learn how to do that as well. And here will, you know, like these are all similar customization and extension that you can put within your Excel on runtime as well as, you know, like you can do uh, very detailed customization as well. So if you go to the Visual Basic Editor, you'll also, you know, like uh, be able to add, you know, like a uh, custom drop down and extend your editor as well in case you have you know like some of the frequently used code you can automatically you know like have you know like you can write a code to generate a code for example so here for example if i click on this it asks me the name of the you know like the process or sub function that i want to create so let's say i want to write a code called import data click on ok so it's gonna first add you know like this and then the handler as well okay so this is quite useful you know like uh, it will be able to add, you know, like what will be the error description um, and then what is the error number and then what is the name of the script or, you know, like the procedure that caused the error. So this is quite useful. Uh, so similarly, we can also do it for a function as well. So we'll try to cover all this in upcoming videos. Okay, now let's write a small code to add the custom menu to this right click uh, in build, you know, like Excel menu. Okay, I'm going to go to my Visual Basic Editor. Let's insert a new module. We'll call this as um, add cell menu, something like this. And then first it's gonna be custom menu as uh, this is gonna be common bar. And then we'll declare um, sub menu, common bar control. Okay, so let's set this up. And here we're gonna call this. Um, this type is gonna be cell, okay? And then we'll add our sub menu, set up sub, sub menu. Here we're gonna add controls, and the type is gonna be um, the pop up. And here uh, you can specify the index where you want to add you know like uh, as well so let's say we want to add it at the top you'll specify add it before the top you know like uh, menu at the moment so before cut if we want to place it at the top you'll specify one so if you say spec uh, place it on top of two then it's gonna be added here okay like this okay so if I run this now You'll see like there's a placeholder, but it does not have any properties assigned yet. 
Okay, so we'll also have to write a code to delete. Every time this code is run, let's make sure it's deleted. And uh, for this, for now, since there's no name, we'll just say whatever is the first custom, you know, like uh, one, we'll just gonna delete that. Okay, so there's none. But here, I'll say on error. We'll just force it to run it, even if there's error. So if there's no cell menu created at that time, it should not return as error, okay? That's the idea. Now let's add some properties. This custom menu Now we can uh, specify the caption of this uh, custom menu, not custom menu, sorry, the sub menu. Call this demo, maybe. The next time it runs, we want this to be deleted. Okay, so if I run this now, so there's demo and there's no sub items yet, okay? So now let's start adding the you know, items. Um, so we'll start a new branch again with controls um, and then we'll add it again and here now the type is going to be control button let's put a note block here so here we want to say let's say there's a code that does the cleanup or something, so we'll call it cleanup. And then on action, so this is where we specify the name of the code that you want to run when this submenu is clean. And here we'll call, let's say that the code name itself is cleanup, like this. Uh, it's better to specify from which workbook this is going to run, so let's say this code is in this workbook. Okay, and let's put the. Uh, we'll have to put this with a single code. Okay, and then um, you can specify the face ID as well. So this is for the icon basically. I'm um, gonna add, uh, you know, like uh, the link where you can download this for your reference. So let's say we want to add the face ID 164. Let's say this is the one we want to add. We'll come back here and specify this. Okay, now let's just put the um, placeholder for this code. Let's call this message box. Okay, now let me try to run this code. So you see there's cleanup menu uh, you know like sub item has been added so in order to uh, let's click that as well first so cleanup has been clicked okay so now if you want to add more items you just need to replicate these blocks okay just like this and then you say um, let's say that this is for um, convert let's say there's a cell value that you want to convert convert to number something like that okay to number okay now let's say we want to put a different face ID for this um, 127 I think is uh, makes sense it might be too small for you to see but once you download it you should be so I'm gonna run this code again. Okay, so here is the second one that is, has been added. Click here, it triggers this. Okay, that should be it. Um, we can add you know, like a code to do the cleanup. Let's say active cell dot value is equal to. It could be um, something as simple as this. We can just add a function. 
or we can also say application dot function dot clean and then we could put this you know in just a clean so let's say that there is a value that is having some extra unwanted spaces well you can just right click and run this code and it cleans you know like the spaces extra spaces or let's say there's a number like this we want to convert it to number so we can just say into one okay so let's say that do this okay so it converts it to number okay so one last thing to you know like bring uh take a note here is this menu is gonna be you know like available wherever the you know like in all the workbooks that is currently open okay so you have to put a handler in like if you don't want the code to be run in certain workbook you have to specify the handlers here okay like this okay so guys that's all in this video we'll you know like cover more topics uh, around this customization and driven you know like uh, build in upcoming videos so if you found the video informative do not forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos thank you so much for watching and have a good day bye bye